When I was in my college days, my faculty asked me the same question. And then what is it? The bang admi, seen at an ke khade hoge, and then started telling that sir, the form factor of sine wave is 1.11, and when we multiply it with 10 kV, it gives us 11 kV. The same way with 20 kV gives us 22 kV, 30 kV gives us 33 kV, and then sab log dekh te rahe ki bhai. But then my faculty made me realize that this is not the right answer. And in today's video, I'll tell you why it is not the right answer. And then I'll tell you that what is the real logic, not fake one, the real logic and real reason behind this. So now let's get started. Now let's see what is the form factor. The definition of form factor is. It is the ratio of RMS value of sine wave divided by the average value of sine wave. And that ratio gives us the number 1.11. How? It's like this, right? So this is what the form factor is. Wow. Now, if I multiply this 1.11 with 10 kV, that definitely gives me 11 kV. With 30 kV, that definitely gives me 33 kV. If it is done with 60 kV, it gives me 66 kV. And all these voltages we are using in distribution and transmission system. But if I multiply it with 120 kV, it gives me 133.2 kV. Right? But we are not using that 133.2 kV. But instead, we are using 132 kV. Right? So, clear this thing in your mind that this form factor is not at all. It is nowhere useful in deciding the distribution or transmission voltage. Okay. I Instead, this form factor is useful to identify whether the waveform is purely sine wave or not. If the waveform is not pure sine wave, then the form factor of that waveform would not be 1.11. So clear in your mind that this is not at all useful in deciding the transmission voltage. Then the next question comes. So the reason kya hai? Right? What is the reason behind this? So now let's understand another reason with this example. Generally, the generating station is far away from the load side. It's like right? A long distance between the generating station and the load. So what happened because of this long distance, there will be some voltage drop. The allowable limit of that voltage drop is 10%. So for example, if I want to receive 10 kV at the load side, what I do? 10 kV at the load side plus 10% voltage drop, that gives me 11 kV. So I should send 11 kV from the sending end to receive 10 kV at the load side. If I want to receive 30 kV plus 10% drop gives me 33 kV. So likewise, if I want to receive 120 kV plus 10% drop gives me 132 kV. Ye jo baat hai, wo sahi hai, 150-200 saal pehle. When our system is not that much mature, not that much advanced. But today, aray, kaafi advanced system hai amara. Our system is much more advanced and much more mature. So this logic is not at all true in our today's scenario. So why this is not true? Let's understand this by another example. Hey, I am going to prepare a complete animated course on DC machine. If you are interested in that course, then keep checking the pinned comment of this video or all the other videos of our channel. Please keep checking the pinned comments of all the other videos of this channel. So you can see here in this example that at the load end, we are getting 10 kV and we are sending 11 kV from the power station side, right? But the load is not only lumped at one place. Sif eki jaga par pura ka pura load hota hai, to nahi hota na. The load is distributed. Some load is 50 km away. Some is 55 km away. Some is 60, 65 km away. So load is not lumped at a place. Then the type of the load is also varying. Somewhere more resistive load, somewhere more inductive load. If more inductive load, then voltage drop would be higher. If more resistive load, then voltage drop will be less as compared to the inductive load. 
and one more thing that our current load is uh, for example 60 km away right then we are taking a tapping from the 20 or 30 km away and the another load is just connected 30 km away so what voltage we'll get there 10.5 kV because the distance is almost half right so at that place we are getting 10.5 kV at that place we are getting 10 kV so it is not the correct logic that we are taking 10% voltage drop so that we can get a round figure voltage at a load side. That's not true. Because there are varieties of parameter that determines the voltage drop in line. How far away the load is, what type of load is, how much the load is, what is the voltage of line, how much amount of power you are delivering, other loads connected to the system. So these are varieties of parameter that determines the voltage drop in line, right? So this is not the true logic that a 10 kV voltage we want to receive. So 10% additional voltage drop. So we need to send the 11 kV. This is not the true logic. So I think now this much is clear to you that it is not the form factor, not even the voltage drop in the line who decides the transmission line voltage. Basically, the logic or the question of 11 kV or multiple of 11 kV is used to transmit the voltage itself that question is myth itself that question is wrong because I'll give you many example when we are transmitting voltage not in multiple of 11 in India we use 25 kV 33 kV 66 kV 132 kV 220 kV then 400 kV 500 kV 765 kV many places you can see that the number is not in the multiple of 11 we are using 25 kV in Indian railways 500 kV HVDC line 765 kV if 11 ke multiple mein chahiye, then it should be 440 kV, it should be 550 kV, it should be 770 kV, but it is not like this. Not in India, I will give you some example of USA. In USA they are using uh, 115 kV, then uh, 138 kV, then 230 kV, 345 kV, 500 kV, 765 kV. So these are the different transmission voltage levels in USA. Here you can see, not everywhere the multiple of 11 kV. Even in Europe they use 132 kV, 220 kV, 225 kV, uh, uh, then uh, 330 kV, 380 kV. So these are the different voltage level used in Europe. Wahan par bhi aap dekh sakte hai ki har 11 ka multiple nahi hai. The multiple of 11 is not found here. Right? So basically the logic of Transmission voltage is being in the multiple of 11, it's a myth. There is no relevance in this logic. It is not always that it should be the multiple of 11. Kabhi kabhi ho jata hai sa combination, but it's not the always. So, fir ab reason kya hai, kaun se voltage rakhe uska? What should be the transmission voltage? What is the logic? What is the reason? What is the selection process behind this? There are many factors to decide the transmission voltage. Let me tell you few of them. So when you want to decide what should be my transmission voltage, what should be my generating voltage, first we generally see that uh, what is the already available infrastructure. For example, you just observe our this transmission line, right? Uh, maybe this line was erected uh, 70 years ago and 70 years ago the transmission line voltage was decided like 66 kV and then it was upgraded to 132 kV. So today this transmission line is of 132 kV. Now if you want to inject power from somewhere in between in this transmission line then that voltage must be 132 kV. So this is what the already available infrastructure right. If you want to take power from that transmission line then you should take 132 kV and then feed it to your system. So you need to consider that what is already available infrastructure. Then you need to understand the requirement of your system. How far you need to send the power. How much power you want to send. Right. So these are the parameter you need to understand. The another important parameter is what is currently available technology with you. If a high tech good technology available then you can even extend your power level but if it is not available then you need to compromise somewhere in between. 
even you need to consider the fund for that project do you have that sufficient fund that you can invest a large amount of money in this so these are the parameter is being considered while deciding the transmission line voltage and who decides this it is the transmission company the engineers work in that company the designer of the transmission line decides that what should be the voltage rating of this transmission line so this is the real reason behind this fir kya kuch to log kahenge unka kaam hai kehna so many people will tell you that are it is not the transmission voltage which is in multiple of 11 it is the generation voltage which is in the multiple of 11 whether it is true or false if you want to check this out then check this video or if you know the answer then write in comments below or if you want to know something else some another question on electrical engineering then check this so until we meet again in our next video till that time bye bye